Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to be going over the production behind Lounge. Lounge is a song off of my fifth album, Voltage, that I just released on Friday, the 24th of February, 2023. And if you want to listen to the album, I will leave a link in the description. Um, also, I'll put the cover up around here in the screen, just so you know what the album looks like. I'm going to start with the drums, and I'm going to play them first. So, I'm just going to solo these. So, I just wanted to take a very simple approach, just a, a four on the floor um, type of drum pattern. Just put one there. So yeah, that was it for the kick. And then I just have a very simple clap pattern that accompanied the kick. So that's the clap, and then I kept the clap and the kick outside of this drum group right here. Um, so you can see inside the drum group I have a vox, um, or just a, a vocal uh, sample, and then I have open hi-hat and the closed hi-hats inside of this drum uh, group. And the reason for that is because I wanted to put flanger, and I didn't want the drums and the clap to be influenced by the flanger because uh, the flanger took away a lot of the volume um, from the kick and the clap. So by isolating these elements from the kick and the clap, I was able to still have the flanger effect while also maintaining a very uh, bassy kick. This is what it sounds like all together. If I were to take off the flanger, this is what it would sound like. And then later on, I have another open hi-hat. That's what it all sounds like. So yeah, that was the drums for the most part. And then we're gonna get into the pads. I first started off with this pad right here. And you can probably hear that on the pad that it's kind of ducking a little bit. And that's because I put a ducker on it. And to do that, I just used the kick. I just made up a pattern for uh, how I wanted the ducker to sound. And to do that, um, I have the kick pattern here in its own track, it's called ducker. And then I side chained the compressor from the ducker. So you can see here, I kind of controlled it. And then if I add the, the compressor. Yep, so that was it. I used the utility to kind of stereo image it a little bit. All right, and then after that, I had this bell pad thing. That was another patch on the mini log. There was um, two oscillators that made up this bell pad. One was a, a pad and the other one was like kind of a bell. Um, I just played the notes and the chord for the main pad. Um, and that just kind of backed up the pad. And, you know, I just put delay. I did the stereo imaging thing and I put a chorus on it so it would have a wider effect. After that, I had these two dark bases come in and for the dark bass right here which is kind of the main bass of the song the main sub bass uh, i used the taoyu no lx and used uh, one of the bass pulse patches for this sub bass i also used the uh ducker for the from the pad um and that is kind of added to the whole thing so and then for this darker bass right here it's it's a little lighter on the low end, but it kind of accentuated the high end for the sub bass. Yeah. 
And um, that was it. That was it for uh, the beats. Um, you can see here I just I just cut out some of the bell pad and the main pad and just you know just had different um, patterns and, and structuring throughout the song just to keep it uh, moving a little bit better. Um, but thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more. Peace.